string type is not actually the string type is not a primitive data type at all okay it's a user defined data type so what is user defined data type that's something we are going to study in the coming lessons in fact in core java there is a particular class called strings in java where i am going to teach you in depth about the string type so here since often we are going to use string type i have addressed few of the things here so first how do we create a string just like you create uh, a character what you do you will put it in a single quote right same way for the string you will put it in a, so you can uh, whatever you want to re represent as a string you can put it in a double quote so you can see this example here so string is of one equal to fillite now fillite is a string i want to store it in a variable call, um, called a str one so i have done like this so i wrote this inside a double quote okay so whatever you want to uh, store as a string put it inside a double quote so followed by what i have done i have done some of the concatenation and then just printing the value i want you to write the same program and do that and some of the tricky questions you might get in the interview is okay let's look into this statement int i equal to one j equal to one and i have a statement here system dot println i plus j is i plus j so what do you think is the output for this and what do you think is the output for this pause the video just take a moment and try to answer in your own don't look into the explanation okay uh, assume that you are back to see the explanation see here what happens here uh, you remember in the arithmetic expression, I taught you that parenthesis gets the highest priority. So, here what happens in the second line, since this gets a priority here, i plus j gets evaluated. So, i plus j is 2. Now, i plus j is here, whatever you have written in the double quote is an object of type string. Whatever you write in double quote is considered as object of type string in Java. Now, what is an object? Wait till core Java class just assume that it's an object now plus whatever you say is gets concatenated since expression is already evaluated it becomes i plus j is 2 whereas in the first case what happens i plus j is plus i the value of i that is 1 is gets concatenated now we have a new string which is i plus j is 1 now that string again get concatenated to j so we get the output as i plus j is 11 so like this, there will be some tricky questions in the interview. You should be very cautious. You should be a good observer. You know, you should uh, be like Sherlock Holmes or be like me. And see you in the next video.